All right, guys, welcome. Uh, today, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to do some target market research and uh, I'm gonna be giving you some insight and some tools that I use. Uh, I've been in the digital marketing space for over 20 years now, currently the chief marketing officer for a $100 million company, and I run a, uh, uh, I'm the CEO of a SaaS company. And anytime and I run all of our marketing, do all of our deep dives into all of our avatars and work with our ads team, work with our, um, our entire marketing team on coming up with strategy and having great insight into the people you're trying to work with is really, really important. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be using uh, some tools. The first one is going to be ChatGPT. I'm not going to do into a, go into a deep dive into all of the features of ChatGPT, but I will be guiding you um, into you know so, sort of the process that I go through. Okay, so so here's the first step that that we're going to take. Uh, the, the prompt is the most important thing. And the very first prompt that I'm going to hear, use here is I want you to act as. Um, this is really, really key. So if you're in the fitness space, you would say, I want you to act as a fitness professional or a fitness consultant. If you are in the finance space, I want you to act as an experienced, um, you know, um, day trader or financial analyst or whatever. I'm going to say, I want you to act as a digital marketing specialist, which is what I am. I want you to do some deep, in-depth market research on business coaching consultants. And I'm just going to let it run, okay? I'm going to let it do its thing. And it's going to do kind of a broad um, evaluation and might take a little bit. Uh, but as it's going through here, I'll, I'm going to talk about some other things. In, in order to effectively reach people, which is what marketing is, it's, it's raising awareness about who you are and what you do. You've got to be able to connect with people on a level that is going to help them. It's going to either help them solve a problem or help them reach some sort of goal or desire that they have. Now, I find tend, I tend to find that people are a lot more willing to invest and spend money on things that are going to help them uh, solve a problem than they are to gain pleasure. You know, people are going to be a lot more concerned about losing a thousand or a hundred dollars than gaining a hundred dollars. It's just pretty common. So um, that's why target market research is so important. A lot of people think they know what their market wants. They know what their audience wants and they really don't have a clue. Uh, so I'm gonna give you, while, while this is you know, coming up with some, some great research, you can see the level of research that it's doing here. I'm gonna take you over to a Facebook group that I'm in. This is a great uh, group research strategy. Facebook groups, you should be hanging out where your, client, your potential clients are hanging out. If you're not, you're doing something wrong. And because this is a great opportunity for you to listen. And if you go into any Facebook group, and this is a digital marketing group that I'm in, which is where my target audience is hanging out. And I just type in the word frustrated and I search the group for that word frustrated. Look at all of the responses that are coming up here. These are all posts that people are, are posting in here about things that are, they're frustrated with. Um, what, what uh, I mean, let me, let me try goal. Let's just type in goal and see um, you know, what some people's goals are and some things that they're accomplishing and things that they're doing right. Um, strategy, right? I'm just typing in some key words and I'm getting insight and I can go into all of these things to see, uh, you know, I can read them. I can read the comments. This is a great opportunity for you to even respond to comments and share your expertise, but it's a great opportunity for me to get insight into what my target audience are, are, asking questions about and interacting with. So, so being a part of Facebook groups, not to pitch people per se, but really to gain insight is really, really important. The other great research, research, research tool is answer the public. Uh, you know, you could do some, uh, I did a search for here for digital marketing, or you could do it for anything, you know, like we can do, I'll do weight loss, right? Um, oops. I already had a free account with that. Oh, well, I'm probably not logged into the right one. Well, I'll just use the digital marketing. But what this is going to do, it's going to give you sort of the, the search results, the more common questions that people are asking about this specific topic. So this is digital marketing. It's not weight loss. Um, and you could see here, you know, um, the majority of them are, uh, you know, when, what, how, can, are, will, why, who, and which. So you can look at, you know, which digital, mar digital marketing job pays the most. Um, 
we're digital marketing frameworks, you know, um, what digital marketing does, you know, what does a digital marketing agency do? And again, you could ask questions in here about anything. And then what I would recommend that you do is you start some sort of sheet and don't, you don't need to request this. It's very easy. Create a Google sheet, do main pain points, main goals and desires, influencers and books. And this is going to be coming into handy as we go back to our chat TPT results and we start looking at, at some of these things in more detail. So for example, um, industry overview, right? Gain a, these are things that they're recommending. Gain a high level understanding of the business coaching and consulting industry approach, competitor analysis. These are some of the things that they're recommending that we do. Target audience analysis, uh, understand the demographics. These are just broad, right? Market trends, SWOT analysis. I'm not going to get into that too much. Marketing channels analysis, uh, legal and ethical considerations. So then what I can do is I can take something specific here and I can ask it to do a higher level deep dive. And what's really cool about ChatGPT is essentially what you're doing is you're having an ongoing conversation and it's learning as you go. And it's also very quick to identify, give you links and, and so many other different things. It's really, really cool. So uh, let's see here. Um, let's do competitor analysis. Uh, I'll, I'll just start with that. So let's say, can you give me a, well, actually, no, Let, let's go back to our sheet. Let's start with some of the, we'll, we'll just go down the list. Let's go pain points, right? Uh, can you give me the top 10 pain points that online coaches and consultants struggle with? Client acquisition. Differentiation in a crowded market, right? Red ocean, blue ocean. That's what that is. Pricing strategies. Don't know what to charge. Client retention and loyalty, right? Time management. Online presence and digital marketing. Sales and negotiation. Scalability. Boom, boom, boom. Just going to get my top 10 here. Perfect. Cool. Now I could go into deeper with, with each one of these, but I'm just going to grab these just so I have them and I'm going to put it in my sheet and boom, I can do format, clear formatting, and that will clear the format uh, for me. I can move this over and now I've got my pain points. Now I could go in here and, you know, highlight them, bold them and all that stuff, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I'm going to go back and say, can you give me their top 10 goals and desires? And while it's doing that, let me go in here and we can talk about some of these things. So I can come in here and, and you know, you don't ever have to, and you never should, just take, uh, here, let me zoom in a little bit. This is probably super hard to see. You never want to just take chat GPT's word for it. You always want to use your brain. Uh, it's, you know, that's why it, AI is never going to replace people. What it's going to do is make you more efficient, right? Especially if you're just, if you're looking for topics, you're looking for things to hone in on. So, so I know being in the industry that client acquisition is a huge one. So I might highlight that, right? Consistently finally in attracting new clients, right? And so um, some issues, effective you know, targeting, lead generation, conversion strategies. So if I wanted to add a row here, I could, and I could, I could, I could do other things in here um, that I know that they're struggling with, right? So they need like lead magnets, they need, um, you know, um, nurture, automation. These are other things that I know that they're struggling with. So I might add things to it, right? I'm not going to just leave it at, at that, right? But let's go back and let's see if we got the goals and desires. Yes, we do. Okay. So increasing client base, brand recognition, authority, revenue growth. These are pretty much common sense, right? But again, remember guys, you can do this for every, um, uh, goals and desires, Let's clear formatting, format, clear formatting, boom. Okay. There's my goals and desires and I've got these here, right? So I can, I've, you know, 
I wanted to, or I can bold them, like I said, and I might do that, like to keep things organized and structured a little bit better. You could do that. Boom. Okay. And I could do that here as well. Boom. So, so here I've got now, now how can I use this stuff, right? That's the question. A lot of people ask me things like this. Well, how do I create lead magnets? And I don't know what my social content should, should say. Here you go. <laughs> this is it, right? So you could do the top 10 pain points. You could do the top 50 pain points. I would stick with 10 um, or maybe even five because those tend to be the more important ones. And, and at least what this might do is help open your eyes to some bigger picture things that maybe you weren't thinking of. But what you can then do is you can take this content and you can create posting strategies about it. You can create lead magnets from it. So for example, if I know that uh, client acquisition, lead generation is a main pain point of my target audience, what do you think a good lead magnet would be? How about a training that's gonna teach them how to generate leads? If I know that um, you know building a unique offer, right? That's what differentiation means. Building a unique offer is a pain point Here's a training on how your, how your offer can stand out. Let me use weight loss as an example. Let's say you're in the fitness industry, you know, and I know that, uh, one of the pain points is, um, you, you know, um, eating effectively or eating healthy, right? So uh, if I had a, a solution for that, a lead magnet for that, how to eat healthy, you know, top 10 meals to, you know, to lose 30 pounds fast, whatever, right? That's where I'm getting those ideas. So it's the target market research that's doing it, but I'm not done. All right. So let me say, can you give me the top 10 influencers that work with business consultants and coaches? So this one might be a little subjective because there's probably people that you know of that ChatGPT might not. All it's really doing is going through, you know, their last update as of April of 2023. And, you know, like Tony Robbins, he's, I mean, yes, he's a, he's an influencer for sure. Um, Gary Vee for sure. Seth Godin. Yes. Simon Sinek. Yes. Most of these are, are, you know, might be life coaches or, you know, they're not necessarily the, you know, the exact kind of people like I would put, you know, Russell Brunson in here. I might do, you know, Alex Hermosi, see how Alex Hermosi's not on here. He should be. So again, you need to know, you know, you need to have kind of a, take it with a, a little bit of a grain of salt, but I'm going to take them anyway, because maybe they were things that I didn't know I could target, right. Or I, I should be targeting. Um, I clear my forward adding again, and then I'll just, I'll just start, you know, I know of, um, I got Alex Hermosi, right? I would add like Russell Brunson, you know, and you can keep going down the list if you wanted to. So, so there you go. That, that's my, uh, that's my little strategy for the influencers. Let's do this. Let me make this a little bit bigger and you can scroll over and now I'm going to do, um, oops. Didn't need to have influencers twice, influencers twice. I want to do books and I'm going to do books because I'm going to take it a, a level further. Um, can you give me the top 10 books that business coaches and consultants are reading. And the reason I'm going to do that while that's thinking, I'm going to go over to Amazon and I'm going to go into uh, books. Okay. And I'm going to search for, I'm going to take this um, again, might be subjective you might not know, or you might not be familiar with some of these books. Start with why, by the way, is a great book by Simon Sinek. I would completely agree with that, but there might be some things in, you know, books that you're missing in here, right? I would do like story brand from Donald Miller, like things that I know that I've been in the industry. So you're always, you, you may have a, some better insight to uh, more insight than ChatGPT in your market. And if you do, 
that's fantastic. But again, what we're doing here is we're creating other insight into the market that you may not have been thinking of. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna throw that in my list, all right, boom. Let's do clear formatting. And again, and I can just keep adding to them if I want to. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, start with why, for example. I'll take start with why and I'm gonna come over to Amazon. And this has 36,000 reviews, right? Now I could just do business books and then sort by reviews. That's certainly something you can do, but I'm gonna go look at these reviews. And I'm gonna look at a couple of different types. I'm gonna look at the five star and then I'm gonna look at the one star. The five star, I'm looking for what people liked about the books. And my gosh, there's a lot of great insight in here. Um, let's, ambassador of books, right? Looks like they did an AI summary themselves. Um, but if you've never read the book, watch this. I'm gonna blow your mind, okay? If you've never read the book, start with why. Can you do a short 100 word summary of the book and explain it to me like I'm an eighth grader. Very cool. Um, but anyway, that's sort of off topic. But here's what I'm doing. I'm looking for research about, you know, what people are saying, what they like about it, what, you know, what they're, you know, um, what kind of feedback they have, um, if they agree with what's being said in the book, like if I've read it and I know, this is giving me some valuable insight. I'm also gonna look at the one star reviews. I'm gonna see what people feel like, this is probably more valuable, what they're missing, what the book is missing. Because obviously this is a great book, but if people feel like the book is missing something, that might be something in the market that I can hone in on, right? That I can focus on. And, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to spend some time and I, and I continue to do this. Once you do it, you're not done. I am doing this once a week. I have set aside an hour's worth of time where I do target market research, where I'm focusing on learning more about what's going on in the industry. Right. Um, and, and this is extremely valuable. So, so those are my core things to do. Chat GPT, um, is a great place to kind of get ideas and get sparked for ideas. But then the deep, the deeper research, the Facebook groups are really, really key because it gives you live real-time action of what's being discussed and what's talked about. Answer the public are real things that people are searching on social. And then Amazon are real life and reviews of books specifically um, or, or products. You know, if you're in the weight loss space, uh, for example, you should be doing reviews of people with their, with the weight loss, uh, um, shakes or meals, all right? Or even, it doesn't have to be just Amazon, right? It could be reviews online of diet programs or you know different types of different programs so that you can see what your market is struggling with. And you should be creating a database of those pain points or those frustrations so that you can come back again, like I said, and use it in your marketing, use it in your advertising, use it in your, your organic social posts, use it in your follow-up emails, because all of this stuff is real life, what your market's dealing with and what they want help with, what they want, you know, problem solved, goals attained, all of that stuff. So there you go. That's my little short version of how to do target market research quickly, effectively, and I hope that's useful to you. If you have any questions, Please, please feel free to let me know down below. We'll see you in the next one.